So I figured today being the nice day out of the whole week, I'm just gonna set up a quick time lapse because it's got these fast moving clouds. I got my uh, webcam. I think this was gonna have better resolution and better quality than using the regular webcam that comes with the Raspberry Pi. I am being powered by a solar powered battery thing, USB. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it up. I was gonna climb up to the roof of my house, but yeah, here's a good spot. All right, so right now I'm doing a collaboration with Caroline. She's actually another YouTuber that we met online. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a video on her channel, so you wanna go check that out. Hi, my name's Caroline. And I'll leave all her links in the description below. All right, time for another unboxing. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I always get mail and stuff like that. It just so happens that everything is just starting to come in. Now, first is this Steam Link. Now, if you follow me on my Facebook group and stuff like that, I posted a message about buying the Steam Link for $1, and it finally came in. And this thing is actually very, very heavy. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't really, I have Steam games, but I don't really stream. I just play on my desktop, but maybe I could. And it doesn't come with a controller. So, let's see. It's Bluetooth, HDMI. The box is very nice. It's very heavy. Um, it's got some weight to it. Like, I, I couldn't have imagined. I thought it would have been some like cheap Android box thing. Um, here, look at that. This thing is heavy. Two USB ports in the back, network card, HDMI, and some sort of uh, barrel plug. And then you got the front like this. This thing's a couple of pounds, no, not a couple of pounds, but in the box, we have the quick instruction steam menu thing. And then you have this little cover, which I'm trying to take, uh, I guess this whole thing comes out. Yep. So this whole thing comes out and, oh, look how nice that is set up. Look at that. You have the plugs for every place. Oh, Tetris laid out of wires. Look at that. Next thing I got was this box, okay? So I ended up getting two stupid popcorn crap that I gotta clean up now. Two Western Digital, one terabyte, two and a half SATA drives uh, from Western Digital. And I actually reached out to them via Twitter. So I reached out to them via Twitter to see if I could get some hard drives and they reached back to me. And thank you Western Digital for sending me two hard drives, which I will be putting together in a project. So you gotta keep in mind that all this stuff is, other than the hard drives I purchased, but this is something that I've been waiting for. It's something that I need to replace out of my arsenal. Now, uh, talking about progression a little bit, uh, as far as like growing or building or something like that, everything you do, you want to try to uh, learn from or, or get better at. So like YouTube, when I first started YouTube, I was using a webcam and a terrible mic setup and stuff like that. Then I learned how to use a regular cell phone to film. Then I learned how to use a DSLR, which I'm using right now. Now, mind you, I had no idea what a DSLR is, how to use it. Manual mode was very intimidating to me. So I had to learn all this stuff and I've gotten to a point where I've been taking Photography, you know, I take pictures, I do photography, I understand the whole setup, what I need for lenses and stuff like that. So I definitely grew from um, when I first started out. And now, and you can also see the collection of lenses that I kind of try to buy because I need to figure out what's the best look and everything. Right now, I'm actually using my wide angle 10 millimeter by 18 millimeter. I don't use this lens too much. This is like one of the exceptions because I was thinking I was gonna vlog with it, but the 10 millimeter wide angle is just too much and uh, I don't know, I just, and it's a very slow lens. If you guys are familiar with lenses, slow lens means the f-stop is really high. That means it doesn't capture enough light, so it's very bad in low light situation. So one of the things I ended up getting was this. Uh, this is, I don't know if you can see that, 17 by 50 millimeter Sigma lens. So it has all the range that I usually use. Now when I normally film, I film with a 35 all the way down to the end of the wall. I've, you've seen it before in my previous vlog where I put the stickers on the floor. That's where I usually film, but it's way too far for me to ever see that little viewfinder or press any buttons that I need to. 
So when I use my 10 and 18, I always find myself on the 18 or I don't really use this lens because it's really slow. So that's, that's my issue. Here I have the Sigma lens, which is f-stop 2.8. It's a pretty decent lens. Low light should be uh, pretty good. And I'm planning to switch over to this. I get I get my full range from 17 to 50. So meaning if I needed to take a photograph, you know, a picture at 35, I can. I could just switch it over. Look at this. It comes in a nice little tiny pouch, uh, which I doubt I'll be using. I just throw it in my camera bag. And this is it. Look at this. This is heavy. This is really heavy. So it comes with a hood lens, hood scoop, hood lens, if that's what you want to call it. This helps you block out the rays when you're taking outdoor pictures. It's a 77 millimeter glass in front, or I forgot what you call that, but it's a 77 millimeter. Then you got the back. Now I'm going to switch over to this right now. Uh, before I do that, this is what I am at at 18. Okay, so right there is what I'm looking at when I'm on 18 millimeters. All right, we are back. Now this lens has a little bit of a noise when it's trying to autofocus and stuff like that, but right now we're at 17 millimeters, and this is the old lens that I was using. And I, I, you probably hear that clicking noise, which I don't know how to solve that yet. I might try to fix it in post, but uh, yeah, in the meantime, it does focus pretty well. It's pretty fast at focusing. I got the wide angle that I need, and also if I zoom in, I also get the 50 millimeter. And also, it does the whole blurring the background thing. You see it's at 2.8, so the background is definitely like blurred out. Even the video, that's a really good look. So let me switch that back out. Yeah, so even at 17 millimeter, I still get a decent range and it's bright. It's much brighter because it's got, it's a faster lens. So all in all, so far I really like the lens just for my first appearance. I haven't really played around with it. I'm about to go outdoors and see what shots I can get. And yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. This lens, I mean, it, it's the cost of, you know, when you're doing YouTube, you need better equipment and these other stuff. Now there is the Canon lens that is double the price of this. That's why I didn't go for that. It's, it's a lot more for something that I could get for half the price. And I don't know if I'm gonna regret that. So anyway, that's it for me on this episode. Again, I don't normally have unboxings and stuff like that like this, but it just so happens that it started to come in. Everything that I ordered just started to come in. This Steam Link was a month overdue. I ordered this a month ago. I have another board coming in from Pine64, Rock, Rock64 chip, you know, the Rock board chip. At the, at, at, yeah, but that's coming in soon. That I've been waiting for a month and a half still hasn't come in. Yeah, so that's it for me, guys. Uh, man, that clicking noise. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hmm. Maybe it's the stabilizer that's making noise. I don't know.